I can't quite believe I've written 100 books for Mills and Boone, um, but I have to say that writing the 100th was in a way very similar to writing the first. You still get that incredible sense of excitement and angst. Uh, I love it. My new book, A Royal Vow of Convenience, which is my 100th book, has got um, a, a princess who's been jilted by her royal uh, fiance, and she's completely humiliated, in, but in a very public way. All she wants to do is to run away, but there are very few places she can run. So she she goes. She wants somewhere that's big enough to absorb her, where she can hide. She runs to Australia. She becomes a cook on a cattle station, even though she can't cook. But she learns. She's a quick learner, and she, for the first time in her life, she's accepted for who she is and not what she is, and she's perfectly happy there until a very sexy, powerful alpha male billionaire descends from the sky by helicopter and, well, you have to read the rest. <laughs> when the listener hears the 3D extract for the first time, I think initially they're gonna be a little bit shocked, but in a good way, because it's like being transported to a sultry swimming pool in the blistering heat where the hero and heroine are about to get intimate. But more than that, you'll be able to experience what they're feeling, what they want, what they fear. It's just like taking a magic carpet trip. <laughs>